let's declutter my highlighters. This won't take as long as the other ones. I don't have very many. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and if you're new here I invite you to go ahead and give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So today is the day for highlighters. As you can see I don't have as many highlighters as I do the rest of my makeup products and the reason for that is I don't use highlighters very often. So this is not going to take very long so let's just get into it. First up, I have this highlighter by Essence. This is a pure nude highlighter. As much as I love the blushes, I'm not so much of a fan of this. So we're gonna start off right away by decluttering this one. This is a highlighter from Milani. This is the Dolce Pirla, <laughs> Dolce Pirla Baked Highlighter, shade 110. This is a beautiful highlighter as well but I too am going to declutter this one. Just not something I reach for very often. Here I have a duo highlighter by Fenty Beauty. These are absolutely stunning. I am definitely gonna hold on to these. These are in the shades Girl Next Door and Chick Freak. I love this highlighter. So this is a definite keep for me. Here I have a liquid highlighter by Say. I am gonna be keeping this as well. This has a pump and this is absolutely stunning. I am definitely gonna be keeping this. Very, very nice liquid highlighter. And here I have another liquid highlighter by Rare Beauty. I'm not exactly sure what the shade is called. It might be mesmerized. This is absolutely gorgeous as well. It's more of a rose gold tone, but this is absolutely beautiful as well. So I am keeping this one for sure. And speaking of Rare Beauty, I have a powder highlighter here. This is in the shade Mesmerize, and I think they match. This is just the same shade, only in a powder form. Keeping this, this is very, very stunning, very, very bold, so you gotta be a little bit careful with this one. And this highlighter is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my favorite highlighter of all times. This is the Glow Seeker highlighter in the shade Pearl. This is absolutely stunning. This is definitely a keep. This one I actually keep on my desk because I love it so much. And then I have another highlighter by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called the Glow Seeker Highlighter in Sun Idol. This is very bright, very gold. Do I reach for this very much? No, but it is absolutely stunning. I don't wear it often because it is yellow gold, but it is very, very, very pretty. So I am keeping this one as well. And this is the Illuminator Highlighter by Ulta Beauty. This one comes off on my face like a face powder. I really am not impressed by this at all, so I'm definitely gonna declutter this one. This is a highlighter by Essence called Kissed by the Light. I don't like these multicolored ones, or at least this one. I have one that I like, but this one is going to be going away. And this one is broken. This is by Wet n Wild. This is a nice highlighter, but it's actually turned out to be kind of a mess, so I'm going to declutter this one as well. This highlighter is, Be is by Becca from the brand Smashbox. I'm going to be keeping this one as well. This is a very lovely highlighter. I really enjoy this one. And this is a highlighter by ColourPop. This is from the Beauty and the Beast collection. It is a very, very large pan. I really, really enjoy this highlighter as well. So this I am keeping. This highlighter is by Revolution in the shade Make an Impact. This is a beautiful highlighter as well. I am gonna be keeping this one. I don't know if you can see them very well. I'm just kind of making a mess there on my hand, but this is lovely. I'm keeping this one as well. I have two more pressed powders here by ColourPop. This one is in the shade Heart of Gold. Just so love this packaging, but this one is gonna go away because I never use this one. And this is in the shade In My Feels. And this is a purpley highlighter. I am gonna hold on to this one, perhaps just because it's purple, and I love the purple blush with a little hint of purple highlight. So this is a keep. This highlighter is by House Labs. This is in the shade Rose Quartz. I am keeping this one. This absolutely is so beautiful. It's a little bright, but if you put it on just sparingly enough, it absolutely is beautiful. So this is a keep. This is by Fenty Beauty as well. The label is off of it, so I don't know what the shade is, and it's also broken where it moves around in the pan. But if you need a intense pop of shimmer on your cheeks, this is the one to go for. And I am keeping this because you never know when I'm gonna leave the house and have an event. <laughs> doesn't happen very often. And last but not least is this 
Dual Tone Highlighter by Give. This is in the shade Platinum Cowgirl. This is absolutely lovely. You can pick up the individual shades or you can mix them all together and just have one blended shade of highlight. I absolutely love this and I'm gonna be keeping this one. So it appears that I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I'm gonna declutter. I think out of those few highlighters that I have, that's a pretty good ratio. So I'm very, very happy with this declutter. It gives me a little bit more room in my drawers for other things to replace them when necessary. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for highlighters today. I hope you're well wherever you are, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!